Good morning, it's 727 and 41 degrees. It's day 26, and today I'm gonna get out of the Smokies. All right, good morning everyone. It is 9.01 on day 26, and I'm just breaking out of Tri-Corner Knob Shelter. Um, I tented up there last night. There's really only, as I said in yesterday's video, there's like three spots for tents and uh, none of them are really, really good. Um, the one I camped up on, I opted for the one just completely riddled with roots, but relatively flat as opposed to the one which was really smooth, but totally just like ripply and off level and all sorts of things. Um, and I slept really well, really, really well actually, which is nice. Um, yeah, yesterday was a 15 mile day or so. <coughs> Excuse me. Today's gonna be another 15 or so. And I'm looking at over a mile of elevation descent today. I think it's something like 5,800 feet or something. So that's definitely gonna be a good test for the shin. Um, also, you might notice have my uh, poncho on um, and all my rain gear, because we are expecting some rain today at some point. Um, but you know, whatever, rain happens. Um, I also, I, I forgot to mention on yesterday's video, one last thing. Um, I got a text from Deadeye yesterday that he unfortunately had to get off trail. Um, I guess his, his mother is sick and he had to head home. So Deadeye, if you're watching this, definitely, uh, sending well wishings your way. Hope your mom uh, has a speedy recovery and is uh, back up. I hope, you know, hope she's hope she's doing all right. I'll definitely be thinking of you for sure. Um, miss you, buddy. Miss you, buddy. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. Um, do you want to go ahead and keep climbing for a little bit? We have two decent climbs today. Well two okay climbs today and the rest of the name of the game is all downhill so we'll get walking and I'll see y'all later.
folks, it is 1124 and it is windy out. Um, I've gone about five miles from the shelter so far already. Um, I think that means I'm about 10 or 11 from where I plan on camping. Um, I'm at mile 228.4, I think right now. And I plan on camping at 240. Two, yeah, I think it's 240 flat. Um, but I wanted to check in, let you know, leg is still feeling okay. Um, leg is still feeling okay for the time being, but we've only barely just begun our descents for the day. So uh, definitely gonna be stopping pretty calm, pretty frequently to stretch out again. Yeah, boy, that wind is howling. Um, I just started feeling a few raindrops. So although we did have little patches of sun sort of poking through, um, looks like uh, looks like that may all be turning now. So perhaps I uh, put on my rain gear for a good reason this morning. Uh, did just want to check in and say hello, let you know how the progress is going, let you know how the leg is going. Um, and once it starts raining, I probably won't be checking in again uh, until I'm able to get to a spot where it's dry. So um, yeah, I'll go ahead and finish stretching out and then get back on trail and keep moving. I'll see y'all. All right, afternoon folks. It is 3.01 and I have just reached a moment of truth for the day. So Mount Camerer Trail extends off and sort of splits off from, uh, from the AT for a 0.6 mile spur to get down to what Guthook calls one of the best viewing towers on the AT. Um, and all morning long, it was kind of like it was yesterday, a little just very milky sort of atmosphere, not really any views to see, but um, the sun's been in and out all day, it turns out. And, uh, and at the moment, it looks like there might actually be a bit of a view. So um, I had decided earlier this morning that it wasn't worth, it wasn't worth the, the 1.2 mile out and back to, um, to go see the tower. But I guess uh, the weather kind of called my bluff and it cleared up. So... Um, the shin has started barking just the tiniest little bit, but I also realized that I did not take my ibuprofen this morning. So um, I did just go ahead and take my ibuprofen and I'm hoping, I mean, I've been doing the stretching still every hour or so, and I'm kind of hoping that uh, once the ibuprofen kicks in, if I keep stretching and all that, um, keep kind of moving slow, then, uh, then I, sh you know, hopefully I'll be all right. Um, I am with this spur down which I'm presently embarking. Um, I'll be just a touch over seven miles from where I plan to camp tonight, but there is also a stop a little bit nearer to where I am now, so a little under seven miles if I do decide to stay at Gavin, Davenport Gap Shelter. Um, that is an option if, if, you know, if the leg is hurting. So. Um, yeah, just a quick update. Uh, probably next clip will be up at the tower. I'll check in with y'all then. Afternoon, folks. It is 3:20 in the afternoon, and I just made it up to Mount Hammerer Lookout. So, uh, yeah, you should be looking at uh, sort of the view from the sort of uh, patio porch portion, which wraps around the exterior of the uh, of the lookout itself. Um, it is very nice. I'd say for a 0.6 mile spur, even though the view is imperfect, there is a little bit of atmosphere out there. I definitely think it's worth. I definitely think it's worth trying to break out here um, as kind of a one last hurrah before uh, departing the Smokies in the descent, which is to follow. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy I made the trip. I will say there is a big old patch of mud just before you get to the tower itself. So if you happen to be out here on a day that it is raining or on the day after it has rained, um, just prepare yourself for that because it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty muddy. Um, so, now that I've checked out the tower, I think I'm going to go ahead and begin the descent down towards camp. 
Um, I think at this point I should be about three and a half, four miles, or excuse me, six and a half miles or so from camp, wishful thinking. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, truck into this descent and see how the leg holds up. I'll check in. All right, it's 5.54. And that box, that box means I am out of the Smokies. Whew. Thank you, Smokies. That was a really, really, really fun section. Um, just past Davenport Gap Shelter a short ways back. <clears throat> from Davenport Gap Shelter. It should have been about two miles to where I am hoping to camp tonight. So less than two miles now until I get to the campsite and I can hear and feel that some rain has just started. So I am putting away the camera, goodness knows. Uh, and I am going to get to the campsite and pitch my tent post haste. I'll see y'all down there. Alrighty, good evening everyone. It is 6.56. You can probably hear it started raining, but uh, not before I got to the campsite that I wanted to make it to today. Um, I had just pitched up my tent and gotten all my bedding sort of put in, and uh, I went off to go do a couple of my evening errands, so I dug a hole for the morning, and I was grabbing water to make dinner. Um, and yeah, in between, <laughs> in between digging and going to the creek, which I'm posted up directly next to, um, it started raining a little bit. So, so we'll see. Uh, on the way in, I did already pitch up a bear line. It's a little further than it needs to be. I think it's about 150 paces or so back uh, trail south, but uh, that's, that's in place for me. Um, so that's good. I am gonna be observing that camping rule. I will be pitching a bear bag tonight, even if it is raining. Um, one rule I am going to be breaking, however, is that I will be cooking and eating right here at camp. So, um, yeah, should be great. Uh, anyways, I am going to go ahead and get to it because I'd love to get cleaned up and get my bear bag pitched while it's still not completely dark. So, um, I'll check in with you one more time. folks not quite sure exactly what time it is but just got through uh, pitching the bear bag um, wrapped up a quick dinner wouldn't you know it just as soon as uh, as soon as I finished recording that last video of me talking while in the tent um, pretty much the minute I turned off the camera it stopped raining which was pretty wonderful so I wound up not breaking that rule of of cooking in the tent um, I found a nice little log nearby to post up and show you guys the new uh, jet boil stash 
So, um, so far I'm loving that thing like crazy, man. I mean, it's definitely a little bit bulkier. Um, and I suppose it's a couple ounces heavier or whatever, but it is fantastic. It's just, it's really fun to cook with. Um, yeah, so it was definitely a long day. I'm not sure exactly. I mean, by the time I edit up this video, I'll know exactly how far that was. Um, especially with the 1.2 mile spur to go out to Kammerer, Mount Kammerer Tower. But uh, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. I feel good that I was able to accomplish. I feel really good, honestly, that I was able to accomplish um, today and yesterday without uh, too much trouble. I think it was a good move to post up and heal up with the wife some in uh, Pigeon Forge. Um, definitely miss those guys. If you if you are interested in following my dog on Instagram, you can find him at Little Lord Ludo. So that's little as in small, Lord as in why not, uh, and Ludo, L-U-D-O, Little Lord Ludo on Instagram. So you can follow him if you're following me too. So um, I'm sure he probably has a much more exciting uh, feed than I do, but. Um, yeah, anyways, it was definitely a great day. Honestly, I have no idea what happens next. I know at some point there's Max Patch, which I'm excited about. Um, and I know at some point there's Hot Springs, um, which I expect to be the next kind of place where I hole up for a day or something. But, you know, I'm out of the Smokies today. What, a, what an amazing piece of trail the Smoky Mountains was. Um, I couldn't be more appreciative for, uh, all the people I ran into, all the nature I encountered. Um, just an amazing bit of trail. Um, but I'm out of the Smokies now, so that's a pretty good accomplishment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang my hat on that for a little bit. Um, I gotta look at the phone tonight, look at Gut Hook and figure out what the next steps are um, with respect to planning the hike. But today was a great day. I did get some pretty wicked blisters on my hands from those new trekking poles, um, but whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, my leg worked and that was really all that I wanted so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in because I'm pretty well wiped uh, by turn in of course I mean spend the next two hours editing video but um, I will check in with you all tomorrow definitely appreciate you guys support definitely appreciate your interest I'll have more for you tomorrow good night